right, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for today's Rookie Racer construction update. And this is by far the biggest update yet. We have track work completed, ladies and gentlemen. Yep, every single piece of track on this ride is now in place. It is exciting to see this ride erected fully right next to the boss. And uh, when I was here last week, it was not even close to feeling like this. It was like a track piece at most. There was just that one sticking out of the station that I covered in a previous update but nothing like the lift hill or this helix or whatever right here, this turn. None of this was in place. So it's really exciting that we have uh, the track work completed. If I go to this other side over here, we might be able to get a better view of it or at least a different vantage point. We got more of it right over here, which uh, yeah, we got boss issues going out. But this, side, oh, this is really cool. So I imagine this will be where the entrance is. And what will be really cool is that the queue line runs underneath the ride, which I think it might. So. Let's go up to the uh, exit bridge of the boss and take another look at this. Here's one of my favorite views I saw of Rookie Racer this morning. This is the first drop you're seeing right in front of us here, like right in the middle. And we got some of the turns on the ride and I imagine it'll be really cool, especially like, from like right here up there even, to see this ride dropping straight at you. So that will be a really cool photo op when this ride does open. But uh, yeah, we got some more of the queue to go take a look at. So. Let's go up a little bit more this way and then see what other cool views we got. Okay, take it back about not being able to see too much from right here. I mean, we got like some of the turns we can kind of see, like right through here. But I bet without the trees in the way, like with all these leaves out there, the drop would look a lot cooler. So let's continue on to the main part of the tee that goes over the bridge. Here's another cool view of the top of the rides, the left hill and uh, first drop. And we got the turn right out to right here, which it looks like this might be a pretty intense moment. Not sure how it'll actually ride because I haven't seen any testing footage of it yet, which we, I think we even have a train on site. There's no train in the station, that's for sure. But uh, yeah, we got this turn right here. This profiling looks really weird. And uh, if it's anything like Big Bear Mountain in terms of smoothness, which I rode for the first time at Dollywood this year, I bet this will be really smooth. And uh, it'll be a little bit better of a view once we get into the exit line. So. Let's go on the exit line for the boss and take a look at it from there. Something else I just now noticed is that the queue path actually has concrete filled in now. So it looks like that'll be the section of the ride where the queue uh, leads up into the station, which this is what I predicted. Too bad that the lift kind of blocks this cool view of Mr. Freeze, but people mm -hmm. do get, I guess. But anyway, we got the turn into the station right over here. And uh, we have some more of the right turns, which I'll go a little bit farther down here and show you guys what it looks like from here. This, in my opinion, is the best view you can get of this ride from the boss's exit bridge. Look how close the track gets to the exit bridge. Like, that's Rookie Racer. Here's Boss's exit bridge. So, it's really cool how close the ride gets. I bet they'll make for some cool interaction moments with those leaving the boss. Pretty cool that we're staring down onto the coaster. We come over here, we got some more views of the track, which it looks like uh, progress is coming on a lot quicker now that daily operations are done. And this is actually something I predicted from uh, the get go is that whenever daily operations end, which uh, last week, which is when I'm recording this, was the last week of them and uh, the park was not open at all this past week on any of the weekdays. And so I knew that when daily operations ended, they were gonna start putting the track for Rookie Racer together. And it looks like they did that. So that's pretty cool. And one more thing to note about the station, it looks like we might have the control panel installed. I don't know what that is over there, but what's surprising if we have like some type of control panel and those look to be, I think the queue gates inside of those uh, plus wrap, whatever it is. But, yeah, it looks like that's got to be something having to do with the station unless there is a few guys. I mean, there's got to be. I mean, every coaster is six flags and lowest happens, so. Wouldn't surprise me if Rookie Racer has them as well. But, uh, yeah, I think this pretty much does it for this Rookie Racer construction update. And uh, before you click off this video, please be sure to leave a like if you haven't done so already. Be sure to comment what you enjoy about this video. Be sure to share this update with anyone else you may know. If you're new to this channel and like what you saw, please consider subscribing for more content and future updates just like this. My goal is to hit 500 subscribers by the end of the year, so I'd appreciate you subscribing and turn the bell on so you can notify every time I upload a new video. I also have an Instagram account for pictures I take whenever I visit the park. Please be sure to check me out there as well via the link in the description. Plus, you might see some of the photos I've taken of Brook Eraser posted in Instagram photos here. So, if you're not following my account, be sure to do so using the link in the description. Thank you guys again for watching, and I'll see you later.